In this video we will be taking a look at fixing Roblox crashing, freezing, not launching or throwing you some weird error message. So it can be very frustrating when Roblox stops working but luckily there are a few things that you can do to fix this and stop it from happening again. So it doesn't matter if you're using the web browser version of Roblox or the app version from the Microsoft Store, the methods that I'll be showing you in this video will work for both versions. So let's now go ahead and jump into Windows on my computer and take a look at what you can do to fix your Roblox so you can get back to enjoying the game again. Alrighty, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is ensure that your Windows is up to date and you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, clicking update and security and then clicking on the check for updates button. It's as simple as that. Windows will now check to see if there's any new updates available. If it detects any, it will then install them. The next thing that you're going to want to do very similar is ensure that you also have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager, and then once device manager is open, now expand display adapters. Right click on your graphics card, so I've got two options here, that's because this is on my processor, so I need to ignore that one and then go to my RTX 4060. So you should only have one option, but if you have two, then select your main graphics card, right click on it and go update driver and go search automatically. So you can see I've got latest driver. There might however be a newer driver available on the manufacturer's website. So go to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card, so NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, and download the latest driver. I will pop some links in the description below that will help you out if you're not sure how to update a driver. So now we've updated Windows, updated our video graphics card driver, go ahead and launch Roblox and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to our website and grab a program called Easy Gamer Utility. So I'm not actually going to show you how to download it as it's pretty straightforward, just download the setup file and once you've installed it, you will end up with a window that looks like this. Well, not quite like this because this is the pro version, which is currently on offer for $2.99. So if you do want to grab a bargain, then go ahead and purchase that now. Anyway, so once you have Easy Gamer open, we need to go across to the Fix tab. Here you are going to see your Roblox web browser version. So unfortunately at the moment I've only added the web browser version, but I am planning on adding also the Microsoft Store version. So you will have free attempts, so that's free attempts if you are using the free version of EGU. All you need to do is simply click on attempt fix. And this is now going to attempt to fix Roblox. And straight away you can now see that it's done the repairs and it's now launching the game. So with a bit of luck, that's resolved the issue that you're having with Roblox and you will now be able to play. So you can see there straight away it's starting and it's all good now on my system. If that didn't help resolve the issue that you're having, then simply close down Roblox. Um, well, actually Roblox wouldn't be open because you still got the issue. Close down Easy Gaming Utility because we no longer need that. We're just using it for that fix option. The next thing that we want to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to task manager. You now need to go to startup and you then need to go through the programs in the list and disable any that you no longer need to boot with Windows. So for example, Easy Game Utility. I could right click on this and go disable and it will no longer launch with Windows as this could be what's causing Roblox to crash. That also brings me on to if you have, let's say Firefox, Internet Explorer, actually that's old, that's no longer around, Microsoft Edge, um, any web browsers, Discord, anything on your computer running while you're trying to play Roblox, close these down as they could be conflicting with Roblox causing it to crash. So this is a very common issue when trying to play games, having something running while trying to play and it conflicts with the game and causes it to crash. So make sure everything's completely closed. So once you've disabled the programs in the startup, go ahead, restart your computer, ensure you don't have anything else running and launch Roblox and see if that helped. If that didn't help resolve the issue, um, the next thing that we want to do is open up the start menu and type in msconfig. You now need to select system configuration. And you then need to go across to services and tick hide all Microsoft services. 
Again, you now need to go through this list and untick everything that you don't need to run. So for example, the iPod service, I do not need that running when I launch Windows. So just disable a few things in here that you don't need. Obviously keep your um, security software and stuff ticked. Once you've finished, click on apply and then restart Windows and then try Roblox again. So if that didn't help resolve the issue that you're currently having, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is try using a different user profile on your computer. So you can either create one yourself. If you're not an administrator, then you will have to ask the person, the owner of the computer to create one. But you can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu, go into settings and then go into accounts and you can then click on to family and other users and then click on add a family member and you'll then be able to create a new user account or you can click on add someone else to this PC if you don't want to use an email to create an account. So once you've created another user account, try Roblox on that one. If it works, then you know it's an issue with the profile that you are trying to use the game on. So after doing all that, and if you're still having unfortunately problems with Roblox, then the next thing that I'd suggest is you try using either the web browser version of Roblox, if you're using the Microsoft Store version, if you're using the Microsoft Store version, then nope, sorry, if you're using the web browser version, then try the Microsoft Store version. If you're already using the store version, then right click on the start menu icon and then go to apps and features. Next, click and search this list and type in Roblox. You then need to select Roblox from the list. So I've got a few different options here. So you need to find the right one that says advanced options, click onto it and then scroll down, click on terminate and then click on repair. This is now going to attempt to repair Roblox. I think that came out totally wrong then. This is now going to repair Roblox. Once you've got a tick, now try launching the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then click on reset and then reset again. Once again, try the game and see if that helped. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. If you're still having issues, then I would suggest you uninstall Roblox and then install it again. So I hope this video did help you out. I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that we have done that I do keep up to date and I add more methods to if I can think of any that will help fix Roblox. So if you like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.